I'm Dan Evans coming to you from MetLife Stadium following the Giants 16-13 victory over the New Orleans Saints. Early on the game was marked by sloppiness on the Giants side. The offense turned the ball over three times early. Shane Vereen fumbled it in the second quarter. Eli Manning was hit by a middle linebacker Michael Mowdy forcing another fumble. And later in the second quarter after a 40 yard completion to Victor Cruz he was blindsided and ball was knocked loose for the third turnover by the Giants in the half. Thankfully for the Giants soon after that they were able to put some points on the board but not by the hands of the offense themselves as the as the New Orleans Saints were getting ready to line up a 39 yard field goal. Jonathan Hankins got his big left hand on it and Janoris Jenkins scooped it up and returned it 65 yards for the touchdown giving the Giants seven right there and giving them a 7 3 lead at the half. We came out in the second half. New Orleans Saints offense, which had struggled early on, didn't do much more. They held Drew Brees to 268 yards passing and only one touchdown on a 17 yard completion to Willie Sneed. Cooks, Sneed, Thomas were all contained, and that's the story of the game. Despite three turnovers, the Giants defense contained the New Orleans high powered offense. 300 yard, 309 yards or just over 300 yards of total offense 268 from Breeze's arm and 41 in the running game. Now on the Giants side of the ball with regards to the offense three top wide receivers Odell Beckham Junior Sterling Shepard and Victor Cruz accounted for 294 yards between the three of them. A terrific day for Shepard eight targets eight receptions 117 yards. Beckham was actually the low man 86 and made a costly drop well, what Giants fans probably thought was a costly drop at the end. But lo and behold right after the next play a 34 yard completion to Victor Cruz absolving him of his early mistake in the first half gave him second and first and goal and they ended up running the clock out kicking the field goal with time running out to win 16 to 13. This game was a dramatic departure from last year's game in week eight with New Orleans Saints beat the Giants in a very very high powered rather high scoring affair 52 to 49 13 touchdowns between Manning and Breeze seven for Breeze six for Manning over a thousand yards of total offense today completely different one touchdown thrown between two quarterbacks just over 600 yards of total uh, offense and in essence the story was the defense you can tell that they're gelling and that Jenkins who had eight tackles on the day including the, the pickup for the uh, touchdown was significant. DRC was excellent in coverage a couple of tackles two coverage sacks Landon Collins and Leon Hall in the first half were significant as well. After the game we got a chance to talk to some of the Giants in the locker room. Here it is. What do you think of how Shepard played today? The only way I know how he knows how to play. Lights out every, every game. Uh, come up with the big catches, the big plays. I said it already. I'll, I'll keep you know, restating it for you all year. It's going to be worth it. I think the guys are fun. They're pretty tough. They got, they got off the ball good. The they got them off the spot. And, uh, but when you get to these moving, it's still a lot of that effect. So I think they did a good job of rushing. Yeah, uh, with the air pressure, the guys that we got, like me and DRC, we got a little more experience. Including the, you know, the front seven, the D line that can pass rush and block uh, field goals. We came in the game knowing that we can block a field goal. And, um, it just happened that we made the best of it. Did you see the block, or did you just see the ball flying, or how did? What was uh, your perspective like? Actually, I just heard the hand hit the ball, okay. and then I just went looking for the ball. Perfect bounce, and I just scooped and scored. How have you weathered the time since last we spoke to? You're obviously aware that there was a lot of reactions to the Giants sticking with you. Oh sure, yeah, no, I mean. Yeah. There's nothing I could do. I mean, continue to work, continue to try to be as I've been in the last couple of years. This is nothing new to me. It's just new to everybody else. So, um, you know, I tried to do the best that I knew how to continue to just work with my teammates uh, and continue to concentrate on football. And that was the main thing: is continue to be in a position to play well. Next week, Washington Redskins come to town. To take on the New York Giants, who are now 2 0 and looking very good on their way into the third week of the season. For Pure Sports New York, I'm Dan Evans.